Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be talking about the worst books that I read in 2017. Basically, I read a lot of great books, which that video will be coming, but I read a lot of shitty books that I thought I would talk about. So let's count down to my top 10 worst books of the year. And obviously, standard disclaimers, you can like these books. It's just I didn't personally enjoy these books. So chill. Everyone has different opinions. Great. Coming in at number 10 is a very controversial one, and that is History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. And I know a lot of people love this. I had some issues with it. I just didn't like it at all. Um, for some reason, I couldn't just grasp onto his writing. I like I liked they both die at the end more but with this book the writing just really really lacked for me and I was so disappointed because I'm always here for male male romances but this just didn't feel right to me at all like it just didn't sit with me well you know next up here I have the beat on Ruby's Street and this is by Jenna Zark this was okay like it wasn't the worst book ever it was in, it's a middle grade book and just my cat is going into some drawer I don't know why stop this was just some like a middle grade book and it was about a girl and like her family life isn't great and they're talking about book deals with group homes and running away from home as a child and it's for a middle grade like it's middle grade so it's for a younger audience and it just really makes me sad the way group homes were portrayed and then how the main character looked at men it was never addressed why she called them a pervert when they did nothing like literally there was just a dude and she's like oh my god he's a dude he's a pervert oh my god like no next i have two that i'm gonna group together and that is cherished and misled these are both smutty romances that were both horribly written and had horrible romances and i hated them both Number six was such a disappointing one and that is depression and other magic tricks this is a poetry collection and it's been getting like so highly acclaimed and like i don't know why like, I thought this was going to be a very insightful poetry collection that had to do with depression and loss and anxiety and just heartbreak and just that sort of thing. And it was literally just a girl complaining about this relationship that went wrong. I didn't like the poems. I thought they were very standard and boring. And then it was just her complaining about this relationship that went wrong. And I think this is the book where, like, there was an abusive element. And then she goes back. Like, I was so confused. Like, she either goes back to the abusive dude or she finds another dude but then she calls him like lord and i'm like ew <laughs> number five is the dreadful tale of prosper reading i did not like the writing in this book this is a middle grade book that has like it's a scary middle grade book and i just hated it like why is this pop like why do people like it i get maybe it's like a fun spooky read i didn't like the writing i didn't like anything about it i thought for like it didn't grasp me at all like i thought found it very just boring and I didn't like any of the characters and I thought the story was just meh. So yeah. <laughs> Next up here I have getting into my top, well, that was Prosper was my top five, but number four, we have 10 Count, which is a manga male male romance series that has to do with a main character as OCD. And through a list of 10 things, he, um, a, psycho a psychologist tells him that if you complete these 10 steps, you will be cured from your OCD forever. That's not how it works. Oh, and then in the, and not to mention that the psychologist is a very, very hot male and they have chemistry. And it's like, if you complete these 10 steps, like we can go on a date, like, ew, no. This is Confessions of a Sociopath by Emmy Thomas. I really, really hated this book so much. Basically, it's about a girl who is a self-diagnosed sociopath. She basically feels no empathy and she just contradicts herself constantly. She's, mm. I can't. I couldn't with this book. One, the writing sucked. Two, just there was so much wrong with it. Like, I'll link all my ranty, if I did ranty Goodreads reviews, I'll link them down below for all these books. Looking into my top two, you have The Marriage Plot, which by Jeffrey Eugenides, which is kind of funny considering The Virgin Suicides was my favorite book of last year. And, well, t like, not of 2017, of 2016. And this was just so bad <laughs> that I could not finish it for the life of me. Um, so this is about like someone who's writing their thesis statement on George Eliot and like Jane Austen. This book just really, really sucked. Like there was lines about, like there was this one line from it that was like, writing in English is something people do when they don't know what to major in or something really stupid or like you're only an English major 
because you like to read or I, it was just stupid quotes like stupid insulting offensive things and I was like oh my god no any worst book that I read this year was Without Merit by Colleen Hoover which is kind of also weird because I'm pretty sure some of her books have made it onto my favorites in the past few years this was so bad not to mention the homophobia the biphobia apparently you think you'd be pissed off because of like the religious element like they take over a church and they dress up a Jesus, Jesus statue which like okay there's like sexual assault in this book and it's condoned for not the right read like for it should not be condoned at all but it talks about molestation and the reasoning for it is so offensive to so many people and this won a goodreads reward like this won a goodreads award and like i don't understand why like the only thing this had was it was a fast read other than that it made me sick <laughs> You know? So I hated this so much. I would not suggest Without Merit. And then there's just, I could totally pinpoint the flaw. Like, I will link my review down below, but this is one of those books that I don't get why people liked it, like, at all. Like, if you love this book, let me know why, because I don't get it. And, like, people are getting this tattooed, like, this book tattooed on them and quotes from it tattooed, and I'm like, ew. <laughs> like, no. Like, it's homophobic, it's biphobic, like it's biphobic, it's homophobic, and it's just insulting to people who have been sexually assaulted, and not that I personally have, but it's just so offensive to so many people, not to mention the, like, the relationship that is gross, um, the constant sister fighting and slut shaming. You guys have it, those were the worst books that I read in the year of 2017. Let me know your thoughts down below. Um, I can already kind of like anticipate some dislikes and some uh, comments that are like, excuse me, why did you hate my favorite book? Okay, you're allowed to like these books. Just let me know why <laughs> you liked them, you know? But thank you all so much for watching. And if you're new here, be sure to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be updated for when I post new videos and all that sort of stuff. See you all very soon with a new video. Bye. Circles and stay